like the sleeve right here. So whenever I did it, whenever I got it to fit, I put some glue up inside there and then on that plastic uh, piece and I slid it up in there to the bottom of the sleeve and then I slid this piece with the PVC pipe on there and slid it up in there with the glue so it smashes that plastic piece in between the cap and the sleeve so uh, this won't pull out and uh, then there's your SO239 plug right there you know uh, if you was going to do, you know, like twin lead or live line, if it's, you know, small enough, then you could do like how the top is with one of these. would we'll just get one for the top up here and you could do the same, you know, just drill a hole, be able to just screw it in, have you all your solder connections, you know, all that stuff. The reason why I did this with the sleeve like this is so uh, you can, uh, you know, whenever you connect it up, you can, you know, take your piece of PVC pipe you know that's you know a couple inches long slip it over your coaxial cable you know you can connect your coaxial cable like so and then uh, take that piece slide it up and you know just push it up in here and then it will create a shield for it you know so no rain could get on the plug itself you know even right then you know it's 90% of it's covered, you know. But, uh, you know, it's just a little bit extra, you know. Um, if it's off the ground, yeah, it probably work. But if you have it laying on the ground, I'd probably say it really wouldn't, you know, work that effective, you know. Because water can, you know, go up in it. But uh, it's up to you. Uh, uh, the, um, the stuff about it, uh, I used 14 gauge stranded wire. Uh, it was like 22 cents a foot at Lowe's here where I live. Uh, and uh, then uh, I looked for the uh, open wire um, wire for this for the open wire and uh, supposedly from websites I've searched said that they you know they said to use a uh, 16 gauge wire but I couldn't find none here at like Lowe's or Home Depot and I didn't try no uh, specialty electric stores because it was on the weekend it's on the weekend so I don't feel like you know wait till Monday so I just decided you know to buy some 14 and uh, just did did it with 14. Um, they said to use solid, but then I found a guy that said, you know, you stranded, it won't matter that much, and uh, it's able to flex in the wind, and it won't break on you, you know. So uh, I'd recommend, you know, researching all the stuff up, you know, before you do it, you know, just to make sure you know you want to do it this way or that way, you know. Um, if you want to copy mine, that's cool too. Uh, there's a was uh, 51 feet for each side of the antenna for these, so you'd have to get you know like 103, 104 feet or so. You know you want to get a little extra so you can cut it down to fit um, with the open open wire. Uh, it's supposed to be 34 feet times that by two so you get like 64 no 68 you know add a couple of feet to it so you can trim it up to fit to size um, was if you do if you if you do instead of this open wire you do uh, twin lead it's supposed to be 28 feet long or so uh, for ladder line it's 31 I think it is so you know, do your research, find out, you know. They're really it's really easy and simple to make. Um Well I thought about it after I made this is uh I could have made an ugly ballon for this. Uh if you look on uh if you look up, you know, look up ugly ballon, there's a website I think it's called uh Universe Radio or something like that. 
but uh, they 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 have all kinds of antenna projects, you know, and they also have a thing called an ugly ballon. Basically, it's like a PVC pipe with uh, coax wrapped around it, and it uh, makes a one-to-one -one, uh, ballon for like uh, dipoles and stuff like that. And uh, I was thinking about I should have made one for this one, you know, just went ahead and instead of having the sleeve, you know, just extending this. Uh, uh, center PVC, you know, longer, and took in was it? Uh, it says like 18 to 20 feet of coax, you know, wrap around it. Uh, don't let the top and bottom coil touch the rest of them, or something like that. And then, you know, had it, you know, have it going in here, connected to this, come out, wrap around, go back in the center, and then connect to the SO239 at the bottom, and then you know, have this set up, you know, just like this too. But um, I guess I'll do that later and just have a ugly balance sitting outside just connected to it. Um, well, tomorrow I guess I'll, you know, uh, get it outside and uh, let y'all see it, you know, spread out. So uh, y'all can, you know, actually see what it looks like. 73 is for now. See y'all tomorrow. Alright, this is the intent I'm using. It's a military surplus I'm borrowing from a guy. And uh, this is just, uh, just it. how noisy it is. So let's see how uh, the uh, G5RV does. You know, uh, I'm doing all these uh, NVIS. All these antennas are going to be NVIS uh, antennas, uh, near vertical instance, sky waves. And uh, I'm doing it because I'm in uh, Johnny Moore, so. Uh, Let's see how much quieter it is when the antenna is lower. Uh, Alright. Alright you guys, it's a couple days later. Uh, that night, after I got the G5RV up, uh, the band conditions crapped out. And uh, that was like, like, uh, like S9, S7. Uh, static that night so I couldn't really you know uh, just about you know it was basically noisy you know worst kind of noise ever so here it is you know a couple of days later band conditions a little bit better and this is about how, how loud it is how noisy it is So there you go. That's a G5 RV. Uh, only you know eight foot off the ground, so it's NVIS. So that's about uh, that's about how it sounds. All right, this is the antenna. Uh, my friend let me borrow. It's a military surplus antenna. It goes all the way over there to the ground over there on both sides and uh, it has a, a like a little box on the stake where the wire connects you know and uh, it's that it is it's like uh, 26 and a half feet tall on the mast and uh, the wires, wire elements are like